Hey guys and goddesses, Whitney here and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. This is Mama's Wit. Yeah. And today I'm coming at you guys with another video. My setup is a lot different right now. I'm about to do my first mukbang video. I hope I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying it right. You know, before I get into that, like right now, go ahead, go ahead and subscribe. Like click that button over there click subscribe and support your girl anyway i just decided you know let me do a little chit chat with you guys let me get some things off my chest and uh yeah let's get into the video okay guys so i did not plan on this being a mukbang i just wanted to come and talk to you guys because like what the f what is that people are rude People are rude and I'm in the house with kids. So they loud. So if you guys can hear me, you know, and can't hear me, I'm sorry. So I have seen this type of video all over YouTube, of course, like the seafood boils and the mukbang videos. And I just love them because I love food and I love talking about stuff. So today I just decided like I'm gonna talk and I'm gonna eat my dinner. I went to Chipotle and I got, you know, got me a little bowl or whatever. Um, hold on while I take this off. Two thousand years later. Okay, y'all. So a lot has been happening. What did I get? Let me just tell y'all what I got. I got a bowl, a half and half bowl, pulled pork and beef with some corn and some tomatoes. And you know, it's just Chipotle. How Chipotle be doing with mad hot on the top? Because I love hot. And I got me a sparkling blackberry izzy drink this is mad good Ooh, 20 grams of sugar but it's supposed to be for two i'm gonna drink it alone but it's serving size for two i wanted to tell you guys what has been going on with me so many things um so since my last video actually yesterday let's talk about actually we'll talk about since my last video okay mm. That's mad good. Mm. Let me cook with some napkins. I hope y'all can hear me. So since my last video, I started school. I am back in school. I am studying television and radio and African studies. Them first two weeks of school, when I tell you, they kicking my ass. They were kicking my whole ass. I just was not prepared. I don't know what I thought was going to happen. I was like, I'm excited. You know, this new adventure, you know, I'm back. I'm older, I'm wiser, I'm more prepared. Uh-uh. First of all, let me just start off with it. Most of my classes are writing intensive courses, which is perfectly fine with me. Except for this science course, which I really didn't want to take, but it was a requirement because I didn't do it when I did undergrad. And I don't know who sent me to choose this class. It, it's a cosmology course. I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. It's the study of cosmos and the planets and all that stuff. And mm -mm. Mm -mm. that's a hot mess. That's exactly how I feel. My nephew shouting. It's a hot mess because the professor don't speak English or barely, which is totally fine if she had an accent because I'm, I'm you know, I'm around people with accents 24 seven, but she has the thickest accent. It's in a massive lecture hall and she doesn't use a microphone or a headset or nothing. So the first day of class when I was there, I sat my behind in like the fourth row. I was like, okay. This is a huge class, you know, spread out. Y'all. She started speaking, I said, uh-uh. Let me get my things together. I had to sit right in the front. I'm in the front row. Since then, I don't play. I don't know what she's saying. The first two weeks, I really couldn't understand her or like, not only understand her, but I just, I wasn't following what was happening, but the last week of classes, which is the past week, the week that just passed. I don't know. Something just clicked. And I was like, oh, 
this is what she's saying this is what she means this is the connections sitting in the front taking my notes you know making it happen um and it clicked and then i stayed after class to have a conversation with her because i was just like miss we got a test coming up in like two weeks i don't know what the hell you talking about i got the book but whatever you're talking about not in this book but now it is i get it so i was worried about that i was very overwhelmed i'm also thinking about joining the radio station at my school um because they have one of the best radio stations in the cuny system this gets a lot oh oh boy but yeah let me get some of this drink this is spicy actually um i didn't get the lettuce this time i normally get lettuce but i feel like lettuce just be taking up space mm. yeah school was kicking my ass for a second but i got it together i just i have to get a little more organized i realized i have to get a calendar i mean i use the calendar on my phone but it's just not cutting it i have to get a calendar i have to get a planner i have to you know go beyond to make sure that i'm on the right track because i want to make myself proud this is the whole point of me being back in school and uh trying to get this degree or whatever but like i was saying i was thinking about joining the radio station because i am in television and radio i do plan on being in media Ooh. she fancy i do plan on being in media to some extent so you know might as well get my practice now get out of my shell you know Not that I ever was actually in a shell, but you know, more so like public speaking or being on a radio station. I've never, you know, been on that realm. So I just feel like I could benefit from that. So that's one of the thoughts. And that is college right now. Whitney is back in school. Oh my God, you guys. My first week, my first day, actually, I walked onto the campus. I was like, okay, whatever. I think I only had one class that day or two classes. And then my second class got canceled because it was like 93 degrees. But they canceled the class because the lecture hall would have been too hot or unbearable for us to learn in. So, I'm walking across the campus, the lawn. I'm like, ooh, class is canceled. Let me just meet this professor and go about my business. You know when you just feel someone staring at you? so i'm there walking and i feel like somebody or a gaggle of people are staring and i'm just like okay i know i'm cute my first day of class you know you have to look good for your first day of class if you want to see what i wore i'm gonna reference this outfit and you guys could check my last video i wore the yellow culotte pants that i bought in my um haul video my primer call I wore those and I think I wore a bodysuit. I think I wore a bodysuit. It was very cute. It was like a short sleeve bodysuit. And I wore my Vans. I was very comfortable but very cute. I'm walking to the hair store. I decided that I wanted a crochet and the hair store is like right near my school. So whatever. Let me get for this get cold. Mm-hmm. I just love corn. Okay. I walk to the hair store and then some somebody approaches me it's like excuse me excuse me and I'm like it's mind you guys it's 93 degrees with the humidity of like a hundred thousand so it's hot I'm agitated I'm ready to go because for all this I could stay home actually for my class being canceled so I'm like okay I'm like yes it's a guy and he's like um I know this is probably weird he had a serious southern accent and i was like okay what's up he's like, I just like, you you so blah, 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 and, you know, i'm sweating and i'm like okay you know i'm not from here i'm actually a transfer student and blah 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 and i was like okay he's like do you go to and i was like yeah and he's like well i hope to see you on campus and i'm like okay thank you have a great day next time i'm in school walking across the lawn again and i feel eyes on me and then they're the same dude just like and i'm just like jesus christ could this not be a thing could this not what else was i saying y'all um 
Yeah, I, I don't know. Lately, I've been trying, I did say that I was gonna stop using that word. I have not, um, I have not been pressed about a lot of things which is making me really happy. I had one of this rant on Instagram. I just feel like people like to pretend not only about like faking, chasing the clout, but people like to pretend their feelings. They like to act like they don't care about people. They, act, they like to act like they're okay. People, cause I see this all the time, especially on Instagram and it just like irks my nerves. People be like, I'm in such a better place. I'm doing this. I'm eating my greens. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And I'm just like, but sis, or bruh, are you actually happy? I know when I'm having a bad day, I won't even post on Instagram. It depends on how I'm feeling. Like if I'm feeling in a sherry mood, because I do have like a lot of my close friends on Instagram. And so I'm like, if I am feeling in a mood to share or more times, I like to be real transparent because I feel like people need to know, hey, I'm going through something too. I made a post about apartment hunting and there were mad people that messaged me like, oh my God, girl, me too. Trying to find a place in New York is bullshit. So, I don't get that. I don't get if people that you're trying to put a front on for are on your social media, just unfollow them. Unfollow them, block them. We're adults. So at the end of the day, it's just like, if someone is not being conducive to your growth, your mental health, your being, why are you still following them? If they don't bother you, that's a different thing. Just if the person is not, you know, if, if they're not helping your growth or, you know, you feel anxiety when you see their page, get off Instagram. Get them off your page. Stop faking for them. Stop faking for you. Talk about your problems. I figure it out. I don't know. I get it though. Sometimes it's difficult. <clears throat> and I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna downplay it. Sometimes it'd be hard though. It really do be hard to be like, all right, I'm over this. I wanna talk to you. Um, you know, I don't want to deal with it. But some people can't do that. I don't think I'm gonna eat all this also guys. I'm full. I got, my stomach is like this big. That's how big my stomach is. This. Oh, something else I want to talk about. I want slash need to get a new tattoo. Like ASAP. I feel like this is so bare. And then when I look at this, I'm like, oh, love. I, I always get so many like questions about this tattoo. I guess like in a couple months, I will do an updated tattoo video. Um, cause I do know by the end of the year, I'm going to be getting two to three different pieces. I also want to get a uh, work done by an artist that is like accustomed or like, you know, specializes in, I don't want to say specializes, but experience with, um, tattooing, um, people of color because I, I've had experiences where it's like, I love the work, but I just feel like they go a little too hard on my skin because they feel like she brown i need this to last but my regular tattoo artist that moved sadly she i feel like she did a good job like all of my tattoos i i've had this for like two like a year now or two years now no like two years i've had this for like two years and anytime somebody sees it they're like yo how recent is this like this is so nice blah blah, blah. even my elephant like people see it and they're like oh my god this is so dope like who did your work so I don't know. I just think that I need to find an artist that I could really rock with, you know? Anyway, I think I'm done, y'all. I'm gonna eat a little bit more. I just did these twists, y'all. And I'm thinking, I got a lot of, I've gotten a lot of compliments on them. They smell so good. They smell like Cantu coconut. 
and like shea butter. They're super long. I think I'm gonna do a video on them soon. Tell me if you wanna see that, if you would like a tutorial on how I got my twist like this. Cause I normally do braids, but if you guys want a tutorial on this, I will be glad to put it up. Okay, so that is all for this mukbang. This is what I ate. I have such a baby tummy. Like, but I ate half. I can eat the rest later. Is it gonna taste the same? By the way, I had a shirt on. It's just a tube top. I just love tube tops. They're just so comfortable. Um, and I don't have to wear a bra. You feel me? So uh, that was all for my mukbang video. Uh, they're shooting firecrackers right now outside. What is today? It's Saturday, first of all. I don't know why they're shooting muk shooting mukbangs. I don't know why they're shooting firecrackers because it's not even a holiday. But do people need a reason? I don't even live in the hood. I can't even say do people need a reason in the hood. This is not the hood. Um, but whatever. Well, I did not finish all of that food because, girl, my tummy is little. I didn't know it was that hard. If it was seafood, I would have ate it all up. But it was Chipotle. It was good, though. Um... I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you will enjoy more videos like this because I love to talk to you guys. Thank you guys for coming to my channel. Comment if you like this video. I want to know how you guys are doing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and subscribe right now. Help your girl reach her next goal. Um, thank you for the love on my last video. I appreciate you guys. Stay beautiful and stay blessed. Stay tuned for more.